Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mimic PC tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to explore Koya SS, a tool designed to deal with large data sets or complex transformations. We'll dive into its features like learning the basics of Koya SS, how to upload a dataset folder to Mimic PC, how to caption your images, how to begin LoRa training, and finally testing the trained LoRa model. So first, let's understand some basics of Koya SS. It usually requires around 15 to 100 images to train a model effectively. Images at a resolution of 1024 by 1024 create the best results. The quality of the images is really important, so make sure they are high resolution and taken from multiple angles, different distances, and contain different clothing. The image should also be more focused on the model than on the background or setting. These guidelines are important during training. Once you have a folder with all of your images, simply rename your folder using the following syntax. First will be a number, which is the training steps, followed by the name you want to give. This is the number of times an image is used for model training. Lastly, add your folder to a zip file which is used to upload in Mimic PC. Now let us see how to upload the zip file for training. Click here to access the side navigation bar. You can see all of the folders here. Go to the input folder, click this arrow, and finally click here to upload the zip file we just created. Once the upload is complete, click the extract button to unzip it. Once the unzip is complete, you can delete the previous zip file and see all of our images have been successfully uploaded. Now, let's look at how to caption the images. Kohia SS has an automatic caption generator, which helps with the creation of caption files for images. These captions are important as they provide a description, which the training model uses to understand your image content. Click on Utilities. Under the Captions tab, click on WD14 Captioning. From here, select your image folder, which we had uploaded to the input folder. There is no need to modify anything because it already has the best settings applied. So simply click the Caption Images button. To see the progress of your generation, go to the Logs tab from the menu above. As you can see, it started the generation, so let's skip this process. Once the captions are ready, you should see the message captioning done and we can view the generated text files inside the uploaded folder. Let's explore how to start LoRa training. Simply navigate to the LoRa tab. In the Configuration tab, specify where you wish to save your configuration files. You can choose the Output folder. Scroll down and choose a training model. You can choose a model from several options. As of now, I'm going with the Stable Diffusion 1.4 model. From here, you can name your output LoRa model. Finally, from here, choose a subfolder of your images folder. From here, you can select whether your generated LoRa will be a checkpoint or a safe tensor model. You can also modify the precision as per your needs. Next, go to the Folders tab. From here, choose a folder where you want to save your generated model. I'll select the Output folder. You can also change the parameters according to your needs. It has settings for epochs, maximum training steps, weights, learning rates, and much more. However, as of now, I will not modify any of these settings as the default settings are fine. Finally, click on Start Training will start the training process to see the progress of your generation. Go to the Logs tab from the menu above. So let's skip the generation process. Once your model has been created, you will see a message mentioning saving a checkpoint along with a location path. So to download the model, click here to access the side navigation bar and go to the Output folder. Here you'll see other created models with a number in the file name except for one, which is our final model. To download it, click here. Now it's time to test the model using Comfy UI. First, upload the trained LoRa model to the LoRa folder located in the Models folder. Once the upload is complete, relaunch your Comfy UI app. So this is a basic Comfy UI workflow. Simply search for LoRa Loader and add the node to the clip space. Choose your trained LoRa model from here and set the strength model between 1.5 to 2. Also, change the checkpoint model to a stable diffusion model. Now, connect the wires to their specific nodes. Enter a positive and negative prompt in the following boxes. I'll set the CFG value to 1 and the scheduler to beta. Finally, click on Q prompt. Let us speed up the generation process. As you can see, our generated image is of a Russian model, despite the fact that I did not specify Russian in the prompt. That wraps up today's tutorial on using Koya SS. We learned the basics of the tool, like uploading and captioning the dataset images, how to start LoRa training, and test the results using Comfy UI. With Kohia SS, you can efficiently manage large datasets and complex transformations with ease. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Mimic PC tutorials.